Guess what? It's time to multitask with lemons here. Sleeping on me, no matches though. I'ma bring that beat down, no matches though. No, they can't keep up, they molasses though. I'm the great skins, which can catch slow. Looking, looking at me like it's my fault. Try to take sneak pictures with the iPhone. I'm like independent, wishing like July phone. That's what young Harriet died for. Yeah! Hey, what's up guys? I thought that I would give you... Wait, maybe I should do this somewhere else. Hey, what's up guys? I thought that I would give you guys another quick college story today. One of my freshman classes, which I still consider one of the most difficult classes I took, as well as one of the classes where I learned the most in. Since I went to a business school, we had to take this mandatory class called Managerial Communications, which is pretty much a business writing class, which is very important. I think it's one of the most important things to be able to write in a business writing. It's very different from what you've been writing in, in high school, which is more essay form. I was either lucky or unlucky by being assigned to the certain professor who was considered the hardest professor at the school. Basically, he was known to make boys cry. He was so mean. And he was this intimidating, like, six foot six guy. Each week, we had to write a new paper. They called them memos. And there were many, many pages long. And we would get them back, and they would be really, really, really bad grades on them and on top of that the teacher would return them to us in the class and their class size is only about like 22 people comment on it in front of everybody and we're all just like are you serious some people he would like take the paper and rip it up in front of them and be like do this again we were all afraid of him we would get our grade and they would always be terrible grades and he's like you can submit this for a regrade if you want what you have to do to submit it for a regrade is you have to meet with me one-on-one -on -one and create a presentation for 30 minutes and tell me what you're gonna do to make it better and then if i decide to allow you to do it i will you can rewrite it and submit it for a regrade so that's what we all ended up doing was every single paper once a week go to meet with him one-on-one -on -one and do that and the problem is that he wouldn't actually take the higher grade what he would do is he would average the grades every single time we would submit it for a regrade our grade would go down <laughs> it was so frustrating we every we would all just be like oh my gosh i spent nine hours lowering my grade <laughs> everyone like seriously we would all be like crying but we would all not show it in, um, in freshman year because we were all trying to show that we were smart. He was like, oh, I'm going to have an additional class that's optional, but if you don't go to it, then you'll fail the class. That doesn't sound optional to me. He's like, I'm going to have a class every Friday in the morning. And everyone's like, but we have class on Friday mornings. Right? He's like, oh no, this is before any scheduled class. Every Friday you have to meet and I'm going to teach you extra stuff which will be on the final exam. So we all had to go for two hours on a Friday early in the morning before any scheduled class. Then one day, halfway through the semester, he's like, we're gonna do practice business speeches because business speeches are very important. They're mostly improv. So what you're gonna have to do is I'm gonna stand you one at a time in front of the class and I'm kicking out four people out of the class. Why should you not be one of the four people I kick out? Go! And you just start speaking, we're just like, oh my gosh! If you were one of those four people that were chosen, you'd have to retake the class later, which that sounds like a nightmare to me. He's like, I don't want to be the bad guy, so what you guys are, you guys in the class are going to vote on who gets kicked out, and I'll email you so you won't be embarrassed. That wasn't bad enough. He like, psychologically attacks us all in class. He told this one kid in the class, I think the admissions board made a mistake in accepting you into the school. <laughs> the final paper was a 200 page paper that you'd have to write, and you guys are like, oh my gosh, 200 pages, that's so much, but Really, after like sophomore year, I had to write a 400 page paper. You had to do a research subject on something that there has not been any research on before. Or if there is research on it, that has never been printed before. So basically, the only way you can get your information is not, you can't go online and search for it because you can't choose a topic that has information online. So what we had to do is we had to go and contact 20 industry professionals. We had to do an interview, like a 30 minute interview with them. That's where we would get all of our information from. And then after that, you'd have to do a one hour presentation on it and do a 200 page paper on it. And of course, we're all thinking, is he's gonna turn it back and give us a really bad grade? And on top of that, we're like, I'm rewriting all my pages, even from the first week of class. I'm rewriting that at, along with all the other rewrites from all the other papers that I've been writing for him. So I'm really <laughs> rewriting so much. We would rewrite our paper, and he would read like the first paragraph and cross it off and be like, I'm not reading any further because it doesn't seem like this is gonna get any better. And we're like, we spent so long writing this, he's not even gonna read it. On my paper, when I got it back, he had written down, 
I think you have a problem with your conceptual thinking. I think you need to seek out a specialist. I've attached their card. With any attached their business card. And I was like, I got into this Ivy League school, didn't I? And I was like really, really angry. That almost made me cry. On the last day of classes, before class, and one person fessed up and like, I have to admit, I've been crying myself to sleep every single night. And then someone else was like, I did too. I would call my mom and just keep crying and be like, I can't take this anymore. And I was just like, oh my gosh, I got this card, this business card that said I need to like work on my conceptual thinking. And everyone else was like, oh my gosh, I got that same card too. And it was really sad because none of us had shared any of this until the last day. And if we had all like knew that we were in the same boat, I thought myself that I was the only one who had gotten that card and I thought that I was the only one that was having these problems. It turned out everybody was having them too. It made me feel a little better. <laughs> I definitely learned a lot and I was able to write a lot better. Even after life after college when I started working, everyone was like, wow, your communications and your writing, it was very clear and it was very well written. So thank you very much to my professor. He already knows how much literal blood, sweat, and tears go into that. That's your story. Hey, what's up? I'm gonna head off to the gym early today. Yeah, see you there. <laughs>